here's the interesting thing. So like, this is what I call the American bourgeois synthesis, mm -hmm. right? Like in some people who have failed in some ways, mm -hmm. we are not as generous to, right? If you're on welfare, it's less generous here. Um, unemployment, it's less generous. Although I actually, I think kind of most, ec the consensus on economics is that our benefit level should be higher, but the terming of it, the saying, look, this is temporary assistance, to get you to the next job is actually beneficial because in, in, in a lot of European countries, you have people who just kind of stagnate on the dole for a decade and it's terrible. It's brutal for them, they're not happy about it, they're miserable, they've been miserable for 10 years, and, but because they're kind of waiting for a never, never job in the old steel mill to come back or whatever, right. it's, it's, it's helping people to make a good short-term decision that's a bad long-term decision. But with, when people have tried to take a risk in starting a business, uh, or in you know, trying a job they're not really qualified for. And it, it's those sorts of risks, America is much kinder to. And so you really right. see this in Silicon Valley as kind of the, the, right. the right. You know, um, apex of this, where if you go in and you're like, I started a business and it totally went bankrupt, people are like, great, awesome experience, you're hired, right? <laughs> That's not, it's right. not a conversation you have in a lot of other places. And, and this can be a weakness, right? Occasionally you're just inspiring people who shouldn't be trying to start businesses to try it again. But in fact, like the, the success rate for even entrepreneurs with good venture capital backing um, who have started a, a successful business before, mm -hmm. about 30% of those businesses, the second ones, succeed. So like the guy who founded Atari also founded Chuck E. Cheese. He has also founded like three or four other companies that are, didn't do well and are now all closed. <laughs> right. um, is yeah. that, it, when you're founding a company, like when you're doing jazz, like when you're innovating anything, fundamentally, what are you trying to do? You are trying to do something that no one has done yeah. before. Yeah. And the only way to find out whether that works is to do it. Right. And sometimes, I'm, I'm sure, <laughs> sure the musician would say, sometimes it turns out it doesn't work. You try it and you're like, oh, that wasn't a good idea at all.